Hi guys, here are alvaram24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Samsung Galaxy A73. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the combined tray for SIM and memory cards. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can move on to the assembly. To detach the back cover we will use a plastic film. It is a protective film from a new display or a film from the stationery store. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it along the joints, thus detaching the back cover. We always have to be careful around the cameras, so as not to damage the lenses. And we open the back cover. We make sure that there are no connectors under the protective covering and proceed to unscrew the screws at the top. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash trio to unscrew the screws. It looks like all the screws are the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface and an easy to remember order for assembly. And using a non-metal tool, we have tweezers with the ceramic tips. We have to detach the cover hiding the motherboard. The antenna transmission lines are located on the cover. Then we use a non-metal tool to hook the edge of the connector and disconnect the battery connector. Ok, we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips. It looks like the screws are all the same here as well. The screws hold the subboard and the cover with a speaker. And we can detach the cover with a speaker. We find the right and convenient place where we can hook the cover and gently lift and remove the cover. Then we can disconnect the connectors first to the display. Then the connector to the subboard and the connector to the motherboard. And we can remove the interboard cable. After that, we can also disconnect the coaxial cable connectors on both boards and remove the coaxial cables. We carefully pick up the connectors and remove the cables. So we can disconnect the fidgeting sensor connector and unscrew one screw securing the subboard. The screwdriver is still the same, but this screw is obviously different from the previous ones. And we can detach the subboard. The subboard is slightly recessed into the display frame. Carefully hook the edge in the right place and pull it out. On the subboard we have a charging port, microphone and other elements on the back side. And in the frame of the display remain the fingerprint sensor and vibration motor. Ok, we move on to detaching the cameras at the top. First, we detach the rear cameras. Carefully hold the cameras by their body so that they don't fly out and don't damage the lenses. And also, we remove the front camera. After that, we unscrew one screw securing the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same Philips 1.5mm or hash to all. Ok, we can remove the motherboard. We find the right and convenient place to hook the motherboard. Ok, we take it 
out and turn circuit board over. Then we detach the remaining rear cameras. It is better to hold the cameras so that they don't fall out and damage the lenses or so that dust doesn't get in there. Ok, and on the motherboard is located the microphone and on the back side it is the card connector. And in the frame of the display remain the speaker, the battery and at the bottom the vibration motor and fingerprint sensor. Ok guys, this is the end of our disassembly, thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.